one of the coolest innovations brought into the Batman universe by Chris Nolan was replacing the Batmobile with the Tumbler. The Tumbler was designed to have the speed of a Lamborghini, the versatility of a Hummer, and the armor of a tank. And the producers of The Dark Knight actually built this in real life. It weighs only about 50% more than your average car and can reach up to speeds of 160 kilometers per hour. But in the Batman universe, it's supposed to reach up to speeds of about 400 kilometers per hour. If only there were a way to attach a jet engine to the vehicle just like they did in the movies. Oh wait, we totally do that to cars all the time. So theoretically, this vehicle could exist, and all that would need to be done is to mount weapons to it, and be able to eject a bat pod, which is a whole nother level of engineering. So moving on from one complex vehicle to another comes the bat. What makes the bat so unique is that its main rotor is actually underneath the vehicle. So why don't helicopters use this mechanism? One reason is that if the main rotor can't extend past the body of the vehicle, it would severely hinder the lift created by the helicopter. The rotor blade of the bat would have to spin at several thousand RPM, while normal helicopters spin at about 400 RPM. This type of flight is not efficient for large vehicles, and it's usually more suitable for RC helicopters and drones. Also, there is a lot of balance issues. The rotor is underneath the bat's body of weight, so that would be the equivalent of trying to stand on a broomstick, while a normal helicopter has its weight below the rotor, so it's more like trying to hang from a rope. Speaking of ropes, have you ever wanted to use Batman's hook to try and scale a building without lifting a finger? Students at BYU have actually developed their own Batman grappling hook as seen here. It works by attaching the grapple to the end of a rifle and firing the bullet so it pushes the grapple 90 feet vertically in the air. The cable can then be attached to a portable pulley system that can propel the user to ascend the rope. Batman also showed off another non-lethal gun in The Dark Knight Rises by using an EMP gun. The electromagnetic pulse gun, commonly known as the EMP gun, works by creating powerful electric or magnetic fields that disrupts or shuts down electronics. But in order to have an electromagnetic field to hit something far enough in the distance, a large EMP cannon such as the one at Eureka Aerospace would be needed, as it can shut down cars with its electromagnetic pulse. So if you've ever wanted to become a superhero like Batman, just know that all you need is some really, really expensive gadgets.